Uh, my name is Tucker. I'm the new intern at Air Lacrosse. I'm going to be doing a lot of their marketing. Um, so Era has sent me today a good sized package of stuff for me uh, and stuff to take pictures of and do video and do content of. I'm a sophomore here at Marshall University so you're going to see uh, hopefully one of our uh, brand new shafts. They did our old shafts and I'll show you one of those here in a minute. I've got it over here on my bed behind me. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, era there. Oh, tape popped open. All right. Um, so the first couple things that you see in here when you open it is a bunch of mesh. So I got sent a bunch of mesh. I don't know what company this is or who's. I don't know whose it is. It's not awful mesh. Uh, never been the big fan of hard mesh, but uh, I did get into this box a little earlier because I got way too excited. Um, and I struck an old stick of mine with this, and it's, it's hard mesh. And I finally got something that I really like. So there's that. Uh, I think I heard there's one of these in there as well. It's one of the Era Carbon uh, nunchuck shafts. So, it's a bunch of mesh, uh, red piece, red's not even in our school colors, uh, so I probably won't use that. Uh, four pieces of white, and I think this is like a gray. It's like a weird metallic, like gray. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's interesting. And then there's a packet, so I'm going to put that up here. There's a packet of, looks like it's got some navy mesh with some red and white shooters and a bunch of little screws for the shaft. So that's a good sign. All right, the next thing, I've got a couple of these. Um, what I've heard is these are, um, these are called anaconda grips, I believe is what he called them in the email um, and the school was sent one and I messed around with it because uh, I do work with the lacrosse team here um, and it's for face off it's for you grip up here um, and you just put it on your shaft and then all you do is just pull this down and it just pops to your shaft and now you have a new grip and it's a very tacky grip as well. Um, there will be more stuff on that later. So, and I got three of those. I have two more. They all seem to be about the same. Yeah, they all seem to be about the same size. So, I'll put those there. Uh, Alright, next. Uh, got a thing of royal blue sidewall string. This actually has a metallic sheen to it. So, Next thing, their branded scandium shaft. This is just plain scandium shaft. It's got a nice grip to it. It's a very glossy finish, um, and I like the des like the design on it. But it's got a nice shape to it. If you all can see that, so there's that one. And that's the white one. There's a black scandium, which is got a different shape to it. It's more of a, I believe it's called a traditional shape. Um, it's more of just a straight up octagon. So you can see that kind of, it's more octagonal. Uh, same design and whatnot. The butt end is new, uh, I believe. Um, from the older era shafts that I've used, they were smaller, they came off really easy when you shot. These seem to be sticking on. I've, I've seen a couple of our players using the new Marcel shafts. They seem to like these butt ends, but uh, we'll get into that later. So there's the black. Aha. And the foam package. It is another Aeroflexion. Well, it's a carbon shaft. 
I personally use this shaft on my go-to stick and I love it. I love it to death. It's got a sandpaper grip, um, so I, I barely use any tape on it when I use it and I absolutely love the design. Uh, I've got a little bit of a martial arts background I like to say, um, working on my second degree. So I love this and I love the fact that they did that. It, it, it's pretty cool to me. And let's see the other two. This is their defense shaft, and it looks a little bit longer. And he told me he was sending me one of the raw ones that is not cut down. I believe he said this is instead of 30 inches like the rest of these, it's 36 inches. Which I asked some of the uh, asked some of the Canadians uh, that play box. They go to the school, um, and they said apparently this is somewhat of a legal shaft length for box. I, I could be wrong. I only started playing last year, and I, I don't even, that's just messing around with it. So it's a little bit longer. It's a very heavy shaft, um, but it's very durable. Uh, and then the two custom shafts, which is what they're going to get to, is a huge custom market. So this is one that I've seen on their Instagram, I believe. Uh, and it's the Langley Thunder. So if you all look at that, it's Langley Thunder. Um, and it's a very clean looking shaft. It's got the same um, design as the white Scandium. This is their Scandium shaft um, with the little arrow across. It, I absolutely love this checkered pattern all throughout it. Um, KB Senior, I don't know what that is. Um, but I, I love this design. I think this is one of the cooler ones. Um, so we'll put that there. And then the last, but certainly not least, there's a couple stickers in here as well. Last but certainly not least, the Mars Hill one. These things are awesome. I absolutely love the look of these. Uh, I will probably be using this one a lot. Uh, I'll probably put this head on that shaft, on this shaft. Um, I absolutely love the design with the gray to yellow to gray. And then it's got the little MHU logo. MHU logo. It's got Scandium on one side, and then on the other side, it's got Mars Hill, and it's got a little Air Lacrosse logo up here. Um, and I, I absolutely love the way these look, and I think personally, granted it might be because I go here, that this is one of the better looking shafts I've done, uh, and I hope they keep going in this direction. So, thank you for tuning in. Uh, be sure to check out era lacrosse um, because there's going to be a lot of photos of these and videos and clips of the players especially using this and a couple of our D middies are using this defense shaft it's cut down to the 30 inch length though so a couple of them are using this and they love it they love the feel of it uh, I don't know why these two don't have butt ends but that's okay I've got plenty of them laying around so there you go